Hello everyone, today we're going to be doing a grenade launcher. So, as you see, it can launch, well, some kind of grenades, and they add some impulse to the object around them, as well as the player. So if I get near one of them, I got thrown away. And if I stand near them... Okay, so you saw it, now let's see how to do it. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to play it, so you see there's nothing there's nothing strange here. Uh, the sound is a little bit loud, so I'm going to change it. I'm going to open the uh, first person character, and I'm going to go to where it spawns the projectile. And here you can see the volume multiplier, I'm going to give it 0.1. So if I execute it now, if I play it, you can hear it's really less annoying. So now, uh, what we want to do is to create a new actor. I'm going to call it Grenade. You can call it, well, damn it. You can call it whatever you want. I'm going to open it and I'm going to add a static mesh. The static mesh is going to be the, the mesh of the grenade, so it's going to be a sphere. I'm going to select it here. Yeah sphere but first off it's really important to grab it and drop it here so it's the root component of the actor now we compile and we hit simulate physics we check that box and so our box now has physics simulation I'm going to change the the material to steel because I like steel like that it's cool and I'm going also to add a particle system and I'm going to select the explosion that's why I wanted the starter content there's no other reason and I'm going to scale it to 50 so it's a big explosion just so you see it boom so there you go now we can we can get rid of these two um, events because we're not going to use them we are just going to use the begin play and what we are going to do is to delay because the first thing we want when we draw when we throw a grenade is to we expect it to wait until you're far so uh, five seconds for example we compile uh, by the way I like to save always and compile because it saves you time and now when when a grenade explodes the first you the first thing you notice is the static mesh disappears so set visible false do not propagate to children because the particle system is going to be a children so mm, we take it and set active because we have to deactivate it um, first check those two boxes and deactivate it. Deactivate the auto activate. So we act so it only activates when when we want to. And the reset is so it uh, starts from the beginning whenever we whenever we activate it. Now we want to do a sequence be because we want to do two separate things that in fact are the same. But well, get all all actors actors of class we duplicate it pressing ctrl w and there we go so in the first class we want to take the actors that is the cubes and in the second one we want to take the characters uh, characters there you go now we do a couple for loops there you go like that and now what we want to do is uh, first of all to take the root component 
of the uh, actor we're dealing with. Once we get the root component, we can get the primitive component because we want to call a function called add radial impulse. And the kind of variable it takes is a primitive component. And this is not a primitive component, so we have to cast to primitive component. And it also, I think it checks it if it has physics. I think it does. I'm not sure. So we connect that. Um, now, the origin point is going to be the actor location of this very same grenade. And the radius and the strength of this grenade are going to be two variables. I'm going to name them range for the radius. I'm going to, well, first I'm going to create the other, that is going to be the damage or the impulse. You can call it whenever, whatever you want. Now I'm going to compile and give them default values. For the range, I'm going to give it uh, 500, and for the damage, I don't know, mm, 1,500, for example? I don't know, just an example. So we attached both well i'm not i'm not caring about it being beautiful i'm just doing it so there you go and i'm going to set it to linear because i like it and in order to do the same with the um, player the player cannot have the capsule component activated with physics because it's false so we can't do it that way. The way we can do it is by, um, well, first of all, for you to know there's a function called launch character that is not going to appear if we do not check, uncheck the context sensitive. So, so we uncheck it and type launch character. There you go. So, the character we want to launch is the player. So, we get the array element and we put it there. Now, the launch velocity. This is hard to explain. I don't know how to do it. Well, first of all, we want to make a vector between this character and the grenade. In order to do that, we're going to get the actor location and we're going to duplicate it. One is going to be the character, another is going to be the grenade, and I, I'm going to split to split it. Well, I can just, yeah, I can, oops. Can I, yes, I can. So, we, we, um, subtract both vectors. It is important to subtract first the character one because it is uh, the one we're going to so remember first subtract the actor the character then I'm going to normalize the vector normalize and now I'm going to multiply it by a thing we're going to do now so um, I'm going to make a function. Yeah, I'm going to make a function. Get damage mold, and it's going to be pure, and it's going to be an, and it's going to have an output of type float called. Uh, I'm going to call it like that because we already have a variable called damage. By the way, I'm going to make them editable public. Uh, the output is going to be of type float, and the input is going to be of type character reference so yes now we want to get the distance get distance to between the target and the other actor that is the character and the return value I'm going to make it a map clamped oops a map clamped so this is uh, in order to set one range to another. 
uh, the first range is going to be the distance goes between zero and infinity but because in infinity it does zero damage we don't care if it's farther than the range so if it's zero the distance I want it to be one the the multiplier and if it's um, farther than the range I want it to be zero so now we multiply the damage times that output and now we have our function ready to go yes uh, well it's not beautiful but that's what it is so we compile we put it there we take the character and we multiply that vector times oops not that that vector times the float and we multiply it there well we attach it there and now we have it I think we have it yes so I'm going to drop it in the map and we're going to see if it works let's see and well there you go okay so no errors everything works so all right so well in fact i i don't think it applied any impulse that that might be because of the damage or because of the range let me check the okay so the damage distance i said last time was a thousand and the damage was the same so it should work right now let me check uh, well it works you could you could see it uh, flew me away so now we want to spawn the grenade uh, by the way I'm, I'm in the uh, first person character blueprint in the in the group where it says spawn projectile we go here the spawn actor grenade we changed uh, we changed it for grenade so it does say that and um, now I'm going to add an impulse to the ball because right now it only does this it only spawns it whoa that's cool that's cool what it doesn't make any sense why doesn't it what doesn't it affect oh because it's a velocity change I'm sorry I think that's the problem it had yes now you can see it applies damage to them so well this is funny this is fun really you can try it um, now we have to add an impulse an impulse to this uh, grenade and in order to do that we're going to take the camera that is here the first person car camera and we're going to get the forward forward word vector um, now I'm going to multiply it by a force that force is going to be Mm, 800 for example why not and we add impulse to the static mesh like that strengthen and we add the impulse it is a velocity change we compile we play it and there you go you can change the of course the force Whoa, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I think it's pretty cool. You can put any mesh you want here with the grenade. And you can add any force. I'm going to add a crazy amount of force just so you can see what happens. 5,000 and now we can see what happens
boom, I get knocked out. So that's it, folks. I I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one. Goodbye.